So, another generic spy movie. This should be fun. So, Ava tells the story of Ava, if you didn't know already, <laughs> played by Jessica Chastain, who is pretty much running away from the place that hired her because she done messed up on a mission. And now Colin Farrell and his goons are after her and there's a side story between her and her ex-boyfriend, but her ex-boyfriend is now dating her sister. Yeah. To me, I feel like it's not that hard to make a satisfying, at least entertaining, spy film. First of all, you gotta have a compelling character. And uh, unfortunately, Jessica Chastain is not that compelling. She has no presence, I feel like, for this kind of movie. She's a great actress in her own right, don't get me wrong. She's done some really good stuff. But in this film, to be a badass, as they present Ava as, like a badass, she's not Angelina Jolie, like from the movie Salt. She got a presence. Angelina Jolie, you see her, you think she can kick some ass. Jessica Chastain, on the other hand, I just see her and I think, oh, she's the girl that makes my latte at Starbucks. This this movie just doesn't know what it wants to do. It doesn't know if it wants to be a spy movie. It doesn't know if it wants to just be a thriller with a kind of spy element because there's not a lot of spying in this movie. There's not a lot of action in this movie. You think of a spy movie, you think of some action, some, some shooting scenes, some fight scenes. That's in this film, but they happen so fast and so infrequently that you're kind of sitting back and you're like, what, what? I thought I was watching a spy movie. But let's officially get into the pros and cons of this film. And let's start off with the pros. You know me, I always want to start off with the positives first. And I only have one positive for this film, which is the side characters. Colin Farrell in here, it's great. I like him. I like his family that he has. He has a family of pretty much of spies. And I thought that was interesting, particularly the story between his oldest daughter you can kind of tell that there's something between them, some nothing, nothing weird, nothing, nothing weird. But I mean, in the fact that their relationship isn't really that good. She wants to impress her dad. She wants to show her that she can be the best spy there is. And I just wish the movie dived deeper into that. Also, Gina Davis's character in here plays Ava's mom. She does a great job. And I just think I'm a little biased towards Gina Davis because, you know, we share a birthday. Um, you don't know that, but <laughs> I know that. Let's get to the cons because there's a lot of them. I pretty much hinted at all of these cons in the beginning of the review, but I, I just couldn't help myself because it was just so jarring that this happened in this film that I couldn't wait to talk. But like I said, this movie isn't really that much of a spy film. There's no action in here. The side characters are way better than the main character that we have here. Some of the lines are a little bit wonky. The script's not really there at all. And Jessica Chastain doesn't have a presence. She doesn't have invoke any kind of badassery, if that's a word. But the number one issue that I have with this film is the side story that we have here. I guess I can't really even call it a side story. It's pretty much becomes the main story. It's between Jessica Chastain and her sister and her ex. There's a love triangle between them. Yeah, you heard me right. I don't want to get into it that much because I don't want to spoil the movie for you if you even want to watch it. But uh, it's just, it's not, it's not fun to watch, listen to, or hear because it's all kinds of bad. But even with all that I said about the movie, I don't think it's as bad as critics are saying. The last time I looked, critics were pretty much bashing this movie pretty badly, but I don't think it's that bad. It's not good but it's not as bad as they say. So I guess I would say if you like Jessica Chastain and you wanna see her in a different kind of role than she usually does, then check out Ava. But for me, it just didn't work. But what did you guys think of Ava? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like Jessica Chastain? Do you think she's good in these kind of films? Do you think she should stick to more dramatic roles? Let me know in the comments down below. Also guys, check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And as always guys, keep watching movies.